What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy. It's been, it's been a few days since I posted a video. I think well, my last video was Sunday and today's Friday. It's, yeah, it's weird. We've got the EDC mail time video today. Ugh, got some really heavy packages um, that we're going to open. And I'm going to talk about um, some channel stuff and I'm going to do a, not some channel stuff, some website stuff where you can buy yourself some very cool gear. And i um, also going to do an EDC pocket dump as we always do. Let's start off with opening a package. So this package is from, well it says Dave Shear Guns, Smithing and Firearms, but it's actually from the guys at um, Hunting and Tactical Clothing. Big thanks to, to Shawl over there for, for hooking me up with this. Okay, uh, let's get into this. Come on, you pig. And what we have is a Safari Land UBL. So this is alluding to uh, possibly the second package as well. Let me show you quickly. So this is so this goes onto your battle belt. This goes onto my core essentials. But one second. Okay, so, so this goes on to here, like that, and then this will replace the Bravo concealment holster I have on my core battle belt. I might actually take this with me to the range today. Um, we've got some more stuff here. So we've got some hardware for the mount, and then we've got, wow, I EDC for the EDG, just wanted to say a quick thank you for being a valued customer, it really means a lot that you've... Uh, it's cursive, right? So I'm not something uh, for your order. If you ever need anything, give us a yala. Much love, Shaw from Hunting and Tactical. Thank you, Shaw. I'm sorry I couldn't read the letter in its entirety. There's some cursive things going on there that I can't fully read. But Safari Land UBL going on to Core Essentials Battle Belt. Very excited about that. So that's good. this is going to look like this. Guys, I'm sorry about the vehicle noises in the background. It's early evening. People are getting home from work. So um, that is what it is. Let's do the pocket dump. Just put that back. So, um, left rear pocket is Leatherman Skeletal. Uh, left pocket is Olight Warrior Mini 2. Cell phone, cell phone pocket, whatever you want to carry is fine. Knife is the knife that I designed. Belt, Core Essentials, Multicam Black. Firearm, Glock 19, Streamlight, um, not Streamlight, uh, Olight uh, Balder S, still testing for review. Got this thing in laser mode only there we go and then um hollow sun red dot running it in a southwest holsters 2.0 rattler 2.0 excuse me get that back on the knife you you've already seen is the Civivi odium from the guys at woodsman where's the pen TI pen from Big Ideas, also from Woodsman Wears. Uh, the pants is Urban Warrior. The wallet is the Travax Armored Summit, also from Woodsman Wears. Now, the reason I'm not taking any Q&As is because I want to talk about the channel. We're going to be selling um, plate carriers and plates on my website www.edcfortheedg.co.za um, that's going to be happening i'm going to be taking some pictures this weekend going to probably be uploading it next week and then they're going to be for sale the awesome thing is that these plate carriers and plates are 100 percent locally made right here in south africa and they are international quality they are stuff that has been worn overseas by real deal people who do real deal things and that is where this comes in so let's get to opening more packages 
So I want to open this really carefully because this uh, Civivi Odium is super sharp and I don't want to cut what's in here mistakenly. Come on. Okay. First layer. You know, one day I'm going to invent packaging that's easy to open. And uh, that'll be the claim to fame for me, and that's how I'll make my millions. Okay. <laughs> they know my color. They know my color. Carrier, plate carrier. Let's get to what's in this and then we'll talk about it. And this, I'm assuming, is the back that was exhausting. So Guys, these have plates in them. Um, let me just see. These have plates in them. So I'm going to be selling, testing as well. I'm going to try to get to the place that makes this. It's made in South Africa. I want to also basically prove to you guys that if you are going to get these, it can handle what it says it can but I'm gonna put this together it'll probably be in the thumbnail of the video so if you want to see what it looks like when it's on me then check the thumbnail I'm obviously not gonna do it now it's gonna take too long um, but yeah plate carriers are gonna be available on my website as I said I was very careful in who I spoke to these are available from the guys at Global Phalanx um, as I said local company right here in South Africa so you will be supporting a South African brand and the reason I went with them is because they've used these things. They've been overseas, they've been to the Middle East. Um, they, the, the design has been tried and tested by people I actually know personally. And that was very important to me. It's one thing to promote something, but I don't know if what I'm promoting is actually going to save your life. I mean, if you're talking about the Glock pistol, there's enough people running Glock pistols for you to know it's a, it's a good pistol. So that's fine. But when it comes to plate cards and things like that, there's a lot of wishy-washy things out there. And I was very cautious about wanting to ensure that I get the best I can get. Um, and that it was, and I was also wanted it to be a local product. Um, I would have gone with an international product if it was readily available and there were no local options. But seeing as there are local options, um, we're definitely going to test these now you guys you will be seeing more videos of me on the training um, when I am training at the shooting range with a plate carrier with a plate carrier on with a battle belt on I want to normalize that way of thinking right in the US that is a normal thing right but the probability of them actually needing it is way lower than us needing it against Africa we all saw what happened in Durban a few months ago that went from a normal day to a whole city coming to a standstill in the matter of 24 hours okay and as I said before that's what really pulled the trigger for me on wanting to get this sort of gear and wanting to start delving into the capabilities and the pros and cons of having this kind of gear so um, stay tuned for that it's going to be quite interesting I'm very excited about it myself um, thank you to Charles for my UBL thank you to Global Phalanx and Kinetic Solutions for my plate carrier and plates you will definitely be seeing more of it that is it guys i'll see you on sunday for the review of the nightcore bp18 backpack so if you do like edc related things and edc related views maybe consider subscribing that's it guys have a good one be safe train out cheers god bless